Those of y'all asking about dreads are fake, real human dreads. Those of y'all asking about dreads are just me. Could you tell me? Hey, what is up, YouTube? What is up, Flow Game? We're back in again with another video, another dread video, actually. I just did one of these yesterday. I didn't edit that one. Today, I'm going to edit this one, like, actually work on it. Um. So, yeah, I didn't know I was going to do this video. I thought I was going to go to sleep. But then, if you guys see this, that's a dread that I reattached. Those of y'all asking if my dreads are fake, I mean, yeah, look, look, look at this. All I did was just add these in. I bought these online. Like you go on Craigslist, or actually, no, I bought these on the black market, you know, real human dreadlocks, go on the black market. I don't advise you guys to do that. It's dangerous out there in the black market, but I, I did it. I'm living life. I don't know. If you guys believe these are fake, if you believe my dreads are fake, you're tripping. They don't even look fake. Like, look, can you see that growing on my scalp? If you think my dreads are fake, you are definitely not an OG subscriber and you should still subscribe. I was about to say leave, but I don't want you to leave. Um, click that video right there. That's my dread chop video. That's when I cut off all of these. But the thing is when I first cut these off, I think I cut too high. I cut higher than I wanted to. I just wanted a high top. I got the high top, but back here, instead of following this line, I fully turned around and used the mirror and cut it what I thought was lined up instead of just trying to follow this line all the way around. So I screwed them up. So I kept my locks. Some people said I should give them away to them. I don't know why you would want somebody else's real hair. Like, they actually smell good. They smell like a barber shop which makes sense, I guess. But, um, yeah, I don't get why you would want someone else's hair in your head. I don't know. But yeah, I've been trying to grow out this little, this little thing every time I go to the barber, which was only like twice since I did this to myself. I always tell them, leave this little patch right here. You know, fade the rest, but leave that little patch um, so I can reattach my dreads. And that's what I think I'm gonna be doing today. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to take all the ones that are doubled because that means the roots are gonna be thicker. I'm trying to make these thicker in the back instead of like, you know, extremely skinny. I don't even know how to start this. I guess I'm just gonna show you guys what I did. So I took this and I frayed the tips. I think that's the right word, right vocabulary. And just keep doing this. Or I see a little bit of, Click that thing, click that thing right there to see whatever is inside of my dreads, cause that's. Spread it out like that. And you're gonna wanna separate it into two different sides. One side going that way, one side going that way. All right, so you're gonna go over here. You guys see this lock? I kinda wanna get it out the way. It's too much in the way. So I'm gonna take this section right here. I don't know how long this section is. It's not as long as the one I just did, so this might be more difficult than I thought it was going to be. This is sort of why I was questioning if I should do this video, because I'm not sure how long this hair is, but um, I just tried it out and it worked, so. Like, I actually pulled on that one really hard, like pretty hard, and nothing happens. What you do is you take that, see how this is one hair and this is two? It's it fits like a key. Like, I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if I can make that any more obvious, but it fits like a key and then you just close them together. You can twist it if you want. I choose not to really twist it because that might like pull it off. And then you just take your crochet needle. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I explain stuff to you guys, I feel like I'm stating the obvious the entire time, but some people, some people actually need it. I'm not dissing you if you need any extra help, but yeah, you just take the crochet needle. I probably should have showed that better. Just hold it closer to your scalp, as close as possible, and just get up in there. I'm trying not to stick it into the one next to it because that's just gonna screw it up. I don't want these two being connected or anything like that. I wish I was uh, ambidextrous so I could use my left hand and point it down away from all of my other dreads. But as you can see, I'm using my right, so I'm pointing it up. So I gotta try not to go too far and hook the rest of my dreads. See, if I go too far that way, I'm gonna end up hooking all my other dreads. All right. The only problem is, can you guys see? Okay, yeah, you can. The only problem is that huge lump right there. And the way my finger, the way I'm angling it up, I can't really get into that. So I'm gonna try to see if I can angle it down. This is hard, guys. All right, so I'm not gonna worry about perfection just yet because my hair isn't quite long enough for it. So I'm just gonna do a few of these and then uh, if you're a if you're an OG subscriber, you already know. I do not like shirts at all. If you were just meeting me, 
could you tell that that was put in there? Like, could you, could you even tell that that was fake? I mean, not fake, it's real, I drew it, but could you even tell that that was like a reattached thing? Let me pull these down. Yep, I got YouTube videos I want to watch, so the rest I'm going to do off camera. These two are probably my best. This one's probably my best right here. This one's in second place. This one's kind of crappy. Okay, guys, I'm back. I put the dreads in Thursday night. Right now it is Friday night. So uh, I'm just going to see how they hold it, held up because of... When I slept, um, I just slept with the clips in. I didn't sleep with the do-rag on or anything. So if they did, I, I feel like they may have come loose. I don't know. I'm just going to check. Okay, so they hang down now. Last night they kept sticking up. So now they hang down. Let's see. I'm gonna get real close. First, I'm gonna look and then I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so they're in there good. Um, if you guys want more detail, like a, like an actual close up on me doing it, just let me know. Just let me know down in the comments and I will do that. But I think this was a pretty. It wasn't really in depth, but you get the point on how to do it. Um, I don't even know what new, uh, I don't know what needle I use, what size it is. Um, if I find out, I will comment that down below and I will pin it. If not, then I don't know. Um, just go to your closest beauty supply store. I know a lot of people go to Sally's to get their needles. I've never been to a Sally's, but I just found out there's one near me. So I'm going to check them out and see if they got smaller needles than what I got. But yeah, um, if you have thin, I think the thinner your dreads are, the thinner needle you need. I don't know if that's true or not, but I would just assume you get the smallest needle you possibly can just so you don't rip your own hair out too much and stuff like that or have to force a huge needle through. I'll just show you guys. Look at the thickness comparison from this to my hair and just see, yeah, that, that's how small it is. All right, y'all, so that was me reattaching my dreads. That's one more look. They could bang. They won't fall. I could tug on them. I'm actually tugging pretty hard, like. They're in there. The only problem is some of them are like lumpy. I think that'll just, if I keep twisting them, eventually that'll come out. And yeah, thank you guys for coming. I don't even know, I don't even know how to do outros for dread videos anymore. Um, continue to flow and may your locks grow. Peace. Okay, peace for real this time. Riding in the motherfucking road. Nigga talking down on no. Yeah. Made a hundred plays in the fold. <laughs> Good. Got a mind, time stay bold. Good. That's all my mind. Riding in the motherfucking